Bam. Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today is just a cozy, fun little update with me. I am still waiting on a few things for the next couple of videos, so in the meantime, you get to have a catch up with me today. <laughs> so I've been to a few events lately and found some cute things, been, been to a few different shops and all that. That kind of jazz. <laughs> And along the way, I have collected some pins and some cute stickers and things like that. Now, those who know me already understand that I am obsessed with collecting cute, like, enamel pins and even just regular sort of pins, stickers, just cute things, pop culture related, adorable stuff, you name it. I'm obsessed. <laughs> So, I thought I would share with you the few that I have collected recently, and yeah, let's get into it. So, my lanyard that holds all my keys and a few cute other little things uh, is looking pretty full. It's already got about four or five pins on each side, and for that reason, I don't want to kind of carry the pins all the way up because it'll get stuck in my hair. So I'm going to think of a few other cute little places, maybe some backpacks, things like that, that I'm going to put these new pins. But the first one is actually already on here. So recently I attended the Magical Markets from the Store of Requirements event and that was amazing. It was so much fun. I cosplayed Bellatrix and... <laughs> Everyone loved it. I really enjoyed myself. It was such a good experience. The markets there were so much fun. There were so many cool things. That's also where I got my little toothless crystal carving, which I think is just amazing. It's so cute. But I also found a enamel pin here that says, I solemnly swear that I'm up to no good. And I thought that was a little bit too accurate. So she came home with us. <laughs> While I was also at the markets, I did pick up some deadly nightshade. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's not a real deadly nightshade, but this is pretty awesome looking if you ask me. And then lastly, I also picked up this cute little book sticker because anything bookish related also coming home with me. <laughs> My bank account might differ, but hey, she doesn't get an opinion. <laughs> So this one is also a really cute little addition as well to my growing sticker collection. At this point I feel like I may have more stickers than places to stick them, but that's a good problem to have in my opinion. So while we were down at Queen Street Mall the other weekend, I just had to stop into our Wonderland Emporium. I love that shop so much. If you haven't been there, you definitely need to go check it out. It is so worth it. The pop culture um, products there are just unreal. They've got so many of those cute backpacks. Just like a bit of everything in there. So like you will find something that you love. There's just no doubt about it. The pin range. <sighs> Obsessed. <laughs> Obsessed. <laughs> I always try and get pins from there. That's where most of my pins are from my lanyard as well, which I'll show a close-up shot of for you. And I found a Nezuko and Tanjiro enamel pin set. How cute. <laughs> mm. And then I originally went in there looking for pins, but mostly for I wanted more Studio Ghibli stuff. And... I found something really cute. So this is a little Totoro um, iron-on patch. Ah! <laughs> it's so precious! And I am going to be popping him on my denim jacket for the whole world to see because just look at how adorable that is. Like, oh, so, so precious. A little while ago now it's like a few months ago I think but we stumbled across this market stall in the South Bank markets 
and this dude had like so many enamel pins of all like pop culture related things it was unreal there's so much stuff I want to go back and get from him uh, but we got stuck in the Demon Slayer section obviously and picked up I think the brand's called Funky Pinky from the looks of this um, but we picked up the Tengen Swords enamel pin for Adrian and I got this little Nezuko box that opens. Ah! <laughs> How cool is that? And Nezuko is inside. So unreal. And then lastly, I was at Queen Street Mall area again the other weekend, uh, like last week. And I have never been into the Dimmick store in there. And apparently it's like, I think it's the state's largest um, bookstore. From what the label said as you go down the escalators, I'm pretty sure it said it was the state's largest one or something. <sighs> it was like a book wonderland in there. Just any book person's dream store. There was, it was like three or four bookshops in one. I just could not believe my eyes and I went crazy. And there was a whole merch section as well as just all the different genres. There was books I've never seen at any of the other Dimmick stores. I didn't think you could get them at Dimmick stores to be honest by this point in time. They're like the really kind of romance fantasy books and just like romance books in general like Haunting Adeline, uh, Blood and Ash. There's another one that I can't remember the name of. I ran into like four or five different series that I thought was only going to be available online for me, but they're at the bookstore, so it was pretty cool. But I could not leave without this mug that I found. So it says, books are a uniquely portable magic, quote by Stephen King. And I was like, haha, this one is mine. But the lady at the desk that was serving me, she was really, really nice and just so exceptional. She was just an all-round good egg and I really love that in people. I feel like it's not as common these days and it's just so, so nice of an experience to meet other really cool people too. And I was complimenting her pins because I'm a pin lover from one pin lover to another. <laughs> and so she just decided to like gift me like all these cool pins because they were leftovers from like the um from the shipping things when they um get the books and there's like all these extra like pins and stuff and then once they've sold the books like they have all these extra pins left over so she was just like gifting them and she gifted me some <laughs> ah i nearly just about cried <laughs> it was really sweet and i was like oh my god <laughs> so that was a really really nice thing to have happen and I was so grateful. <laughs> On another note, with my desk set up that has been underway for the cast for the cast couple of weeks <laughs> for the past couple of weeks. All the pieces are slowly coming together. After I added in the little shelf that I found from IKEA, everything has just kind of looked so much more put together recently and it's making me really excited. I also received my keyboard in the mail as well. I will give you a little tour of the desk space so you can see how everything's coming together. And yeah, it's just looking really awesome and I'm super happy with it. It's really becoming that cozy, comfort, safe space that I was really hoping for in my office. And it's a great place to work now. I always want to come in here and sit with my lights on and my candles burning. And it just helps me like romanticize the mundane a little bit more and I'm all for that.
So at the moment I am grinding it out, trying to get my Bowler cosplay done in time for uh, next, not next weekend, the weekend after. Wait. No, it is next weekend. Mm. I want to say I'm about halfway done, but there is still a lot of stuff to get done. I've got to finish paneling and printing out, printing, sewing her skirt, and then I've got like puffy paint pens, so I'm going to do all the design onto her skirt with that. But I feel like the sewing the skirt's not going to be too bad because I've already done a mock up, so it's going to make that process pretty quick, quick and easy. But yes, I still have that. I've got to make her earrings as well and then finish off her top, but her top is mostly done, so that's pretty good as well. And then she's mostly done, but then we've also got to work on Adrian's mihawk. I've got to sew his um, jacket and do the markings on his sleeves as well. And he's working on the hat at the moment and finishing off his sword. We will definitely get it done in time, but it's just going to be a squeeze. So every sort of spare minute where I haven't been exhausted out of my existence, I have been working on that so that's all coming together but it has meant I've got a little bit less time than usual so I have only read one book lately and that is Fourth Wing. <laughs> this was raving and raging over book talk recently and I put down the book that I was trying to read there's nothing wrong with the book I was trying to read I was just in a book slump and I needed something like Throne of Glass or like Akatar even to just like knock me back into my writing and my reading like obsession you know and I've been looking for that and nothing was really like spiking my interest I guess to say and then I saw Fourth Wing just getting absolutely spotlighted upon on book talk. <laughs> I don't even think that's a word but that's okay and then my friend also read it and she loved it as well so I was like you know what I saw it it came out it was the last copy at the time and I was like it's a sign and I bought it and it was actually so much bigger than I thought it was gonna be but I read through it so fast and it was such a good read I loved it it was exactly what I needed the writing style was you know um, and the characters were just incredible so well written I oh, I love it I love it I would definitely say I loved this first book more than I think the Akatar series I love Akatar but this takes the cake <laughs> all I can say is I'm really really glad I ordered the pre-order of book two coming out in like December I believe it is November or December and I am hating that I have to wait that long because I need to know what happens next. <laughs> and you know that is the top tier sign of a good book <laughs> when you are so hooked and I am. I have not been able to stop thinking about it lately and yeah. So I would definitely 10 out of 10 recommend this. This is like, this is good quality right here. Mini haul time! I took a little trip to Kmart and came out with a lot more than I meant to, but that is the way it always is with Kmart. <laughs> My original intentions with the Kmart shop was to get a new notebook so that I could start journaling or create a manifestation journal. Because I feel like I've really been lacking there and I love manifesting and I feel like it just makes such a world of difference for my mental health as well. Just creating it that higher vibrational state I feel and yeah, I really wanted to get back into it and have a fresh start. You know, just it helps sometimes when you start with a fresh book, start, you know, from where you're at now because it's already so different to where I was when I first started my affirmations and manifestations. So. That's what I had in mind when I went to Kmart and then I got a little carried away in the stationery section, so here goes. <laughs> so I picked up a little art diary for a couple of dollars and this has nothing to do with manifestation. <laughs> this is simply because I wanted a fresh book as well that I could create a visual art diary for to get back into a routine of creating art on the weekly. I feel like there is so much going on in my mental space all the time it's always just like crazy you know and organization is just at the forefront to keep myself from not you know going nuts or burning out or just feeling too overwhelmed and stressed out with everything hence why i have such an obsession with notion as well 
but when I'm trying to focus on things like social media and consistently bringing content and things like that or like my writing and focusing on writing consistently something always gets left behind and at the moment that is my art I haven't done a lot of art recently at all I did like one piece of just like some cute little sketches like a couple of weeks ago now and then before that we're not going to talk about it <laughs> and I really feel that like built up sort of suffocation of not just creatively expressing even if it's not for the purpose of selling it or something like that I just want to be creating art my nan is an amazing artist and she gifted me a lot of extra um, like pens and useful like art tools and things like that, different markers and things and I've been so desperate to try them out and so I thought I am going to set aside a specific book for it and maybe every Friday, I'm not sure I haven't selected a day yet but I feel like Friday is a good day to do art and have fun. Everyone loves Friday! <laughs> so Fridays I will probably set that as the day and I will just mess around with different mediums and um, different like, pens and things like that and yeah I will probably share that with you guys either on Instagram or here depending on how it goes but just for the sake of fun and creative expression because I really miss that in my life all right so next up I found these cute little a little pack of it's like an office set they've called it but it's got like pins um, some little bulldoggy clips I don't know what they're called actually I've just always called them bulldog clips I don't know why binder clips maybe or paper clips I have no idea um, I think they're called binder clips from the looks of it but yeah and then there's like normal paper clips and some little cute little flower paper clips <laughs> and the colors work perfectly with the color scheme that I'm sort of creating in my desk space as well so I thought that would be perfect <laughs> she found a white stapler <laughs> I won't lie, I really live for aesthetics and I feel like it's really showing through at this point in time. I bought a um, hot glue gun that was like a sage green just because it was pretty and I wanted to be able to use a pretty hot glue gun. <laughs> but yeah, so I found this white stapler which is going to look so cute on my desk. So, <laughs> And then there's a few other little goodies that I also grabbed too. So these are just some ballpoint pens. It's like a little five pack, but the designs, oh, oh no, there we go, is that showing? I hope that's showing, yeah. The designs are just really stunning on there, they're just like some cute little checkies and flowers and spirally things and I thought that'd be really fun for this journal as well. And some washi tape because I want to decorate the cover and the inside of this journal, it's going to be my life this journal. So yes, I got some washi tape for this one as well. There's some really cute designs on here, little strawberries and flowers, more checkers and cherries and flowers and things like that. So yeah, I'm stoked with these and I can't wait to show you what we do with it. And then I also grabbed some pastel colored highlighters because you can never have enough highlighters and I love me some highlighters. So everything in color for me. <laughs> um, so yeah, I just thought they'd be really awesome also for the journal and just in general because I'm always using highlighters. And then lastly, the journal itself. So it's this really pretty, um, I was going to say it's blue, but it's, it's kind of like a mint. There you go. The colour is on the back. It's a mint journal and I just thought it's a really pretty colour. It's going to look great with the washi tapes. It's also going to suit my desk really well with the aesthetic we've got going there as well. It all just is going to fit together perfectly. So yeah. Well that brings us to the end of our video today. Thank you so much for tagging along and if you want to see more content like this don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell notification. Give us a like and have a chat with me in the comments. Alrighty I will see you all next week. Bye!